Y'all ever heard of monitoring spirits? It's a heavy tactic that demons use to keep their eyes on, you know, God's vessels. But you know what's weird? People think that only demons can use this tactic, but no, God uses these tactics too. And this ain't got nothing to do with my boy. I just, it, when you talked about this, it reminded me of a story. Now, in this story, me and my friend, my friends, we were, I was always told that I was insensitive for this. You know, I was very, very brutal, very, very harsh, but it was called for. Now we gonna circle this back to monitoring spirits, right? You got demons that use that, but God uses it also in a very, very, <laughs> it's more tactical, more in variety. So that's why I tell you, you need to be careful on who you are talking to. I don't care if you're religious. I don't care if you're anything. Like, if you go and come to someone and, you know, throw your weight around, throw a Bible around, throw whatever around, you need to be careful because you might be talking to one of his, one of them ones. So, let's talk about this. You know, why, why was I so brutal and harsh with this guy? But listen, I'm with my friends. We are at this convention and it's a gathering of uh, a bunch of artists, entertainers, if you will. And you know, we get around, we've been in this industry, bro. I've been in it and we saw what happens behind the curtains. It's very, very traumatizing. So we like to uh, gather around, probably have coffee and we literally, it's like war stories, but for rock stars, bro. So while we're talking, here comes this guy and he's wanting us to listen to his music, right? You make you tell me to listen to you, I'm going to listen to your music, bro. And when I say I'm going to listen, I'm going to really listen. Because, A, I'm trying to, A, hear what you're saying. Two, I need to hear if you got that talent. And then, three, I need to know what you're talking about. Because, A, I'm on this I'm on this field for God. That entertainment demon that is literally, you see him getting crucified right now. I am waging war. We are waging war on that spirit. We can't let that spirit win. So when you tell me to listen to your stuff, please believe. If I hear that demon, I'm going I'm gonna tell you about it. Bro, I'm like, all right, bet. Because I'm going to listen to it. I'm going to listen to it in front of your face. Because after I listen to it, I want to have this discussion with you. I want to look you in your eyes and see what you're really talking about, right? I listen to it. And it's your regular shoot them up bang bang selling drugs effing hoes all of the bro the whole shebang you know what i'm saying we 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 know about this we used to it but i like to after i hear it i want to talk to you about it i want to see where what what your soul about because it can't be in a good place right i tell this guy i take off my earphones i was like wow bro <laughs> and this is why they say i was brutal for that i said wow bro you got a lot of demon shit happening in this music you doing all that? Like, you killing people and doing all that? He goes, nah, bro. Like, bro, I'm just rapping, bro. I'm just trying to feed my family. My bro, he looking at me. He nervous. He like, bro, don't do not do this right now. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, so, so you going to put this music out there, right? Influence these kids, these grown-ass adults who going to go up in here and party, listen to this stuff, and think that that's okay so you can go and feed your family. So you saying, so you saying, F they family, I'm feeding my own. That's real selfish, bro. That ain't even right, bro. Bro looking at me, he like, he lost for words. And my man said, man, I'm sorry for my friend, but you probably should go and find somebody else to listen to this stuff. And he said, bro, good idea. I said, listen to me, bro. You put this stuff out here, you gon' answer for all of this. God don't play, bro. My God don't play. You gon' see him. So I just want you to know when you put this out, remember that you had this moment with me and he warned you. So when you put that out there and it come back for you, don't you, don't you ask, don't you act surprised. And he's, he went on by his business, put his, put his stuff on. I ain't heard from him since. This is why I say you, you need to be careful. Because if you run into one of the ones, God tried to warn you. He put it there. And you ignored it. And that's why we listen more than we speak. Because I want to hear God with God is hearing what you're saying. And he is exposing that demon that's in there. And we trying to 
get that out of you. So if you choose to take the entertainment, to take the poison that they call entertainment, that they call fun, that they literally use it to destroy your mind to where you are so easily controlled by stupidity and go and participate in it, you will receive that wrath as well. It's just what it is, bro. I had to go through it. You got to go through it. And I'll be dang if nobody tell you about it. I'm going to tell you. Because, hey, I'm out here. And God is using me to wage war on that spirit, that entertainment demon. He going to get it. And anybody who play with him going to get it too.